So hello everyone, I'm gonna show you how to use a node program. Um, so first thing you should do is to select a folder where you go and to put your and no library references. So we will just create a new folder and then you go to EndNote and open oh, create new library. So select a folder where you're gonna put it and press save and choose uh, the file name you like and then um, press save. So now new library has opened and first option is uh, where you have your own references and uh, can complete online, re online search. The second one is when you get only your own references and the third one is uh, only online search. So I usually use this one because if I want to find something I just go to the web page, for example PubMed or Science Direct and uh, download what I need. So the first and simplest option is to create a new reference by your own. For example, you have a, a paper book or paper article and uh, you want to put it into your library, so just press um, you just press this button um, and then enter an author's name, surname and name, the year, title of the work, uh, journal, volume and so on. There are many many options you can enter. But you also can not only um, create a journal articles reference but edited books, electronic article, electronic book, um, figure, film, serial, thesis, uh, and also most useful is book. So you see it has changed. Um, now we have serious editor, serious title, CD and publisher. Uh, we haven't got it uh, in journal article uh, type. So then when we enter everything we need, we just close it and the window appears and we just press yes. And yes to save it. So now we have a reference here. Mm. But uh, oh yeah, we can create a new group. For example, even a group set, create new group set will be, for example, um, <laughs> yeah. And I will create a new group, and we can add this one reference here, right? Here, we can add it here, and now we have a reference in a. Uh, group. So we can do not only this. For example, you um, you found your article on uh, Science Direct or EBSCO or PubMed. So for example, we go to Science Direct and find an article. Psychology. I am a psychologist, so I'm going to show you how psychologists should do it. So, we will find the one with full text, PDF file, here of clinical neuropsychology, and here we can press wherever we like. For example, this one. See, we have a an article here. We have 
export citation. So uh, pass this one, and uh, we always download uh, a citation in uh, RIS format. This for EndNote. So just press export and save the file. Then we are gonna download a PDF file also. So we just open it and save. So now we can close everything and go to the folder with uh, RIS formatted file. How to use it's very simple, just click it. <laughs> yeah. And uh, the citation will appear in your EndNote library. Yeah, just so simple. So we also can put it in our group. There will be two references. So we can open it and um, change if you like. Or well, you can see what we have in here. Title, journal, volume, issue, pages, ISSN number, even keywords. So everything that was saved in this file. So now we're gonna add a PDF file. So find it. Yes, this this one. Yes. So we just press the right mouse button, choose file attachments and attach file. Now we find our PDF file and press open. And that's all you see. You will uh, see uh, this one signed near your citation if a PDF file is attached or something else. To open our PDF file and to read the library, you actually can uh, just delete this once. See, and citation is still here. So if you want to read it, you just go to File Attachments and Open File, and the PDF file will open. Now you can read it, do whatever you want, close it, and so on. So, um, as you can see in our file GGG, where our library is, we can file all, find all the PDF files you see. So it is automatically saved in your library, so you can just um, delete all the other files. Uh, the next one thing that can be useful is, yeah, the graphic output style. The style that you will see this one citation. So I got APA 5th edition, the 5th, I don't know how it's called. So you can also use 6, see, something has changed, all those styles are different. You can select another style, for example, if you are, you study uh, microbiology or mathematics, you just change it, choose it, and you see, it has different style. Yeah, I choose this one. So if I want to create a sources list. For example, I do my work here. And I just so the list here. I just copy it. And I got yeah, all the name and uh, this name is formatted uh, with all the rules. I can change uh, appearance, Times New Roman, the world all 22, doesn't matter. And just save it here. Yeah. That, that's how it works. And uh, I guess that's all.
Yeah. So this one program is very, very useful. I can't imagine myself working without it. And I strongly recommend it for you too. So good luck and goodbye.